Now Molly Lawless back to Matos under pressure from Dedemizio. Frampton gets a foot in again. And then uh, it was actually killed. Great first touch from Michelle Brown. So now I think that's Sheridan Gallagher stepping forwards and then a wild effort uh, into the lands and the bleachers behind the goal. A reader pass almost before it happens and a step in front of the attacker. Now Sheridan Gallagher for the Stingrays. Has options, goes inside. Gallagher's got a good long range shot. She might use it, but again, that's another one over and into the big fence behind Jada Wyman's goal. Back to Chloe Middleton. As Frampton tries to settle it and it deflects off a Stingray. Now they might have another chance. Yeah, left footed. And again, off target. So it's the Stingrays doing all the early pressing in the first 17 and a half minutes. They've had the shots but they have not as yet tested Jada Wyman. Now, Middleton, let's fly. Can't, at least this time, recreate her heroics from last weekend. That's Frampton. Going long. Pepino, the closest. Your Tim will get on the end of this. Left foot, she's trying to lob Emery, and it wasn't too far away. Had Emery scrambling, but the ball lands on the roof of the net. <sighs> Now Cooper going from outside the box. Didn't quite wrap her foot around it enough to get plus the backup keeper Kate Anthony's. As well, it could be a chance here for the Stingrays. Good save. Jada Wyman down quickly enough. It was lawless with the left foot. And almost picked up the scraps and converted from that set piece. Haven't really tested Jada Wyman that much apart from that Molly Lawless effort. As well. The shouts. And now I'm going to see the referee consult with his assistant. And that's, I do believe that's a penalty to Stingrays. It's a huge moment here. Hush over the ground. Michelle Carney saved. What a save from Charla Wyman. She's kept this scoreless. I said about a minute or so ago she hadn't been tested too much. That was a test. Taylor Young. Delivers far post Wyman. Oh, thought about coming, then heads back to a line. Middleton winds up. That's wide. In spite of what I might term a somewhat optimistic shout for a corner kick. As Gallagher delivers into the middle, and it's a decent header, but on the edge of the box, Caitlin Cooper hooks it wide. That's a smart position for Cooper to take up. So is Gallagher stepping forward from centre back as the Stingrays push for a decisive goal. Gallagher left footed. It's off the bar. Is Michelle Carney flags up. That's not going to count. That's not going to count. Flags up. And we're staying at nil all. And this will drop to Tegan Collister. Pass does not go through, and in fact, it's only two minutes time added on, so that's full time here at Belmore Sports Ground. It finishes a nil all between Sydney Olympic and Illawarra Stingrays. The biggest moment came in the second half when Jada Wyman saved a penalty from Michelle Carney. The final score here Sydney Olympic nil, Illawarra Stingrays nil.